welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on the Baby B Luna double stroller. So I've just cleaned this stroller. If you want to see the video on how to do that, I completely pulled all of the fabric off the pram, including this little part down here in the basket, and I put it in the bath and gave it a scrub. It's up to you if you want to put it in the bath or if you just want to put it straight into the washing machine. But all of the information is on that video. So we'll start at the top. We have like a standard foam handlebar with a brown leather cover that is, um, I guess you can replace it easily if you wanted to. Uh, so any damage to the handlebar is pretty repairable. So that's a really good idea that they've done that. Coming to the hoods, I hate the hood fabric. It seems to ball up very easily and it seems to mark very easily. All of the uh, ones that I've looked at online have, like second hand, have got bally parts on their hoods. It's just like the fabric that it is. Uh, but it's basically a standard hood that you get these days. It has a little peekaboo hole flap at the back. I do like the gold detail of the little baby bee logo it is very nice but there's also nothing to hold it forward like velcro or anything but it pretty much flips forward and stays there so i guess that's not really a problem uh no magnet or velcro in them either then you have the standard zip so the zips comes down and gives you more hood you've got the air vents in the side on both sides and of course, both hoods unzip. And like I said, they both have the air vents. I really just don't know why this fabric has been chosen for the hoods because it just seems to mark so much. And they've got nice attention to detail with the same color for the little um, zippers. So that's really nice that they've done that. And then the harnesses kind of follow in with that color pattern, that style with the uh, what color is this? Like a goldy colored harness, a five point breakaway harness, which is really nice. And as long as you keep them oiled with WD-40, they are really nice and pop open and break away very easily. So I really appreciate that. It's a little bit of WD-40. If you don't want to get it on your prem seat, hold like a rag around, around it and just do a little bit of a spray and just leave it sit on the rag. So any that drips out will go on the rag and onto your pram seat. Coming around to the back, you have this part that can be zipped or unzipped. So two zippers either side, and then you can roll it up and allow the air to flow through. You've got a little um, elastic bit under there. So that folds up out of the way if you want the breeze to come through, or if it's a bit cold, you can have it zipped down so that no, no breeze can get through. The hoods come off very easily, as you'll see in my washing video. Just unzip there and it will um, remove it, or if you need to replace your hood. The seats do recline and sit up, of course, so they're both reclined right now. If you were just to push up a little bit, you can see this strap. So all we're going to do is hold these two little rings with our one finger and with the other hand, squeeze this and pull it up and then adjust it to where you would like baby to sit. So you have a decent sized basket down here which is pretty accessible. Of course you've got uh, the double width so you have double basket. So it's a decent sized basket. You can get a fair bit of stuff in there and of course you can remove it if it needs to be washed. So everything on this stroller can be removed for washing which is definitely something that I look for when I'm purchasing a pram or a stroller. So we've got our one press break. It's quite handy when you have a nappy bag over that it's just on one side. Um, otherwise, if the nappy bag hangs in the middle, you kind of go looking to find it. Uh, then when you realize it's just on the side, it's a lot easier just to come to the right of the pram and be like, okay, I know that the brake's on this side. So that's how I managed to find where the brake was when you have a big bag hanging. So if you just imagine that you were pushing this and you look down to find the brake, you're kind of going to just like put your foot under and look for it, but you can't find it. So if you remember to go to the side, then you can see it there and it's a lot easier. Don't mind that. That's just a slight bit of damage. 
Now, I know you're not supposed to put a nappy bag on a pram handle as it can unbalance the pram or stroller, but um, this did not feel tippy at all. Like, there's no weight in the front now. It's just the stroller on its own, and it doesn't feel tippy. Uh, this bag isn't completely full, but it definitely has a few little bits and pieces in it, a few blankets and things. Um, so it wasn't tippy with the bag in there if you did want to do that or if you just needed to put a little bit of shopping on there. Um, probably don't overload it, you know. <laughs> we all have our limits. Back around to the front, we've got belly bars that are pressable by this button on the side. Honestly, I find it a little bit tricky to find and a little bit frustrating for how they work. I can see the design, obviously, you're supposed to go out. But for some reason, if you go in, just find it really hard to, yeah, find where it's at. But I appreciate that it's swivel and that it swivels out of the way. That is something that I also look for in a pram or a stroller. Oh, yeah. They're a little bit tricky. Oh, of course, they come off all the way if you don't want them on there. These are not zipped on like the handlebar covers. I'd say you have to replace the whole belly bar. So they just go on like that. The footrests are adjustable. So they have two little bits here. So you just squeeze them towards the frame, I guess, this part of the frame. And then you can adjust it down like that. And then when you're ready to bring it up, you can bring it up one. I don't think it goes up and stays up. Not many do anymore. I guess if you really wanted to, you could uh, do that, um, have that stay in there. Um, we've got the little decals here. Mine didn't appreciate being scrubbed. They're supposed to be gold. This one turned silver after, after a good scrubbing and this one turned good. I didn't scrub it, but after it came out of the wash. <laughs> Another solution to get into the basket is from the front. If you lift the seat up, you can get in there. Of course, we have front swivel wheels that can be locked for all terrain. Push them down and they lock in place. I feel like the seat sizes are decent, a hood height seems pretty high just to get your older children under the hood if it's a hot day it looks like the hood height is a lot higher and especially if the hood is back then they have all the way kind of up to here without the hood well all the way up yeah um without the hood touching them or like jabbing them in the head or like them sitting crooked <laughs> like that so i feel like that is a bonus there's extra headroom although if they're that high there's really nothing for them to like lean their head on back there unless you unless the, the, like a pillow or something because there's like a hard bar there this pram is also supposed to fit through a standard doorway which is quite bizarre to me it does just fit but it definitely seems like it could use some room for improvement this part here especially catches i don't know why it's bent out so much this is how it came and the next thing that catches are the hoods it's like this part here that catches like this part is too wide so here's the fabric you can see it's kind of marked I have to also admit it pushes like a dream it definitely pushes very nicely with one hand loaded up with shopping and stuff um, it's very I don't know, it's just nice. Although being a side-by-side, -side, I'm not sure I like the width. I felt like I was kind of getting stuck in the shops. Um, I guess I just haven't been out in, in the shops with a double prim for quite some time. So I think that I would just factor that in for the future. Um, of course, there's no, like both of the seats only face forward. So there's no option to have them face the other way. Oh, the cocoon. I better grab that right now. This cocoon is brand new. I just cut the little cable tie that was on here. If you're buying this pram brand new, I feel like you get good value for money because you get with it, of course, the pram, the hoods, the belly bars. You also get 
I believe, two seat liners, so one on each side, and a boot cover, as well as this cocoon. You get one cocoon, and I'm pretty sure you get, like, two rain covers, and I think I already said the boot covers, the two boot covers. So I feel like that's good value. I know with some brands you have to buy extras as well. Okay, cocoon. Oh, I've got... Oh, yeah, that's the way... Oh, does it go... It doesn't face you. It has to face forward. Guys, this could be improved to face mum and dad if it's a cocoon. Just saying. Right, I'm going to have to take my bullseye. You can just go over there for a minute. So I've seen pictures of this set up. I haven't seen it. So we've got a snap in here. Two snaps. One, two. And then we've got two snaps on here. So I'm going to line the snaps up, which is kind of sad because that means that it faces this way something i'm not a fan on of is having to like come in here and find these zippers okay so i've put the cocoon in the inside is quite thick and padded and the bottom has like a firm base in it with squishy padding on top and the fabric is really quite nice, so it's, it looks kind of comfy. And there's, like I said, the walls are padded, and these are snapped here so that they can't fall onto the baby. I'm guessing that's why they did that. I don't think there's no, there's no more on the back. Um, I just feel like they could have done this so that, like, it turned and faced the parents. Like, that's all they'd have to do. But, like, because it's like a newborn, like... I don't know, I guess you're buying a forward-facing stroller, but I would really like to be able to have Bub's head up there so that you can see them. Oh, the clips. I forgot to put the clips on. That makes it stay in place. What do they just go, like, under here or something? Oh, well, that's a lot more stable. Yeah, okay. It probably doesn't need that, but I guess if there's weight in it. Oh, does that fit under here? Where is it? What, and then you have to like take this on and off every time every time you fold it because that's not going to fold with that in it that's kind of annoying honestly i don't really think i like the cocoon i can't reach i i don't know i feel like it could be improved if i was going to put this in i would want it for the extra effort of strapping it in i would want it to convert my prim to be rear like facing as in I'm standing here and I can see Bub's head there. And I feel like it would be pretty, they would, it would be like very similar. I guess the belly wire would have to come off, but then the weight distribution changes. I don't know. You just have to have some more like sturdy, something more sturdy down here to hold it on. And then you'd have to, of course, level it up so that the baby is not tilting this way. You know what I'm saying? Like this way. I'm trying to show you. Um, and then I was like, I've got the camera. So we don't want that. We want baby the right way. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I probably just put the baby in the seat. Like that doesn't really benefit me that much other than it's cute and squishy in there for the baby oh, of course this comes off sorry i forgot to show you that i just thought i'd zip it up because it was already on comes all the way off um completely off if you want it off and that looks really weird like that <laughs> i've only seen it with this on and i think that it looks better with it on so if it's summer then i would just use the seat no point getting this out and mucking around with it put the kids in the car now i need to undo this to take the cocoon out i guess i'm gonna have to take the belly bar off as well oh and unsnap it all right cocoon is free so it is secure so that goes in the car oh there's another set now I know what those holes are for. <laughs> I've been wondering what these little holes are for. They're to uh, put the bassinet in. And then you come around 
and use your thumb to push across and then your squeezy fingers at the front at the same time thumb across and squeeze your hand and this kind of likes to be temperamental for me really squeeze it and then you're going to lift up and we're going forward and here's our fold oh. it's not that heavy you're not going to carry it it's got wheels I do find it very awkward to lift up. Now hear me out, I usually pick up, when I take a double stroller out, it usually uh, breaks into like three pieces. So usually I've got the frame, the, oh my gosh, what is it? Okay, usually I have the frame and two seats. So it's in three pieces that I lift it up and put it in the car. So this is the frame and two seats all in one. There's a lot going on, it's quite heavy, but you're only lifting it up and putting it in the car. It did take up just about the whole boot uh, of a little hatch. So there was room for some shopping, but it definitely took all the room up ways in it. Um, I mean, it's a double stroller. It is what it is, it's gonna take up more room. It's actually a double stroller that doesn't come apart. When strollers come apart into pieces, that's when the folds take longer and that's when they get a smaller fold. And sometimes even more risk of breaking them because there's a lot more moving parts. Whereas this just has that uh, standard moving part. But I will show you how to fold it again because I did a bit of a dodgy version. So again, with the thumb and the hand, you gotta really I don't think I can do it. Maybe I need some WD. Oh, what if you're left-handed? Is it easier? Why is it easier to do it that way? If I like push with my left thumb versus my right, my right thumb is a little bit dodgy, I'm not gonna lie. It's so much easier. Okay, and then it just folds over. It down. I found it easiest to pick up by these two bars here. I kind of feel like that's actually designed to do that. And if you've noticed that the frame hasn't touched the ground and scraped, just the wheels are touching the ground at the moment. Um, I guess that's where the safety comes in. Oh, there we go. It only just clicks on, but it's, uh, no, it unclicked. I'm guessing that's gotten bent on my version. So if you had that, maybe you could like heat it up and bend it back into place. So anyway, to put it up, you would grab it out of your car by this frame. I feel like that's the easiest way. So put it down on the wheels. Just remember that it's on the front wheels and they don't have locks. So it will move a little bit. You're gonna bend over and lift the handle, which is going to put the back wheels on the ground and then you kind of just flick it out. Pretty good fold, but it doesn't feel heavy to push. Another useful little feature is when you're clicking the harness in, it won't allow you to clip it backwards, so like twisted like that, or like this one down to here or something like that. So I feel like that's helpful to make sure that the straps go in the right places. To purchase this pram, uh, they are, I believe, made in Australia, or at least their, their main company is here in Australia. Um, but these ones are currently backdated until may mid-may i think i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that it helped you make the choice to see if you wanted this stroller or not if this video helped you please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up i have already washed it and there's a video up on that so i did a bit of a deep clean wash but it will show you how to do a quick wash on yours as well thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next pram video